All right, what's up, guys? So, Gossip Beans have uh, has uploaded a video titled "15 Streamers Who Got Checked by Goons on Live Streams." Yeah, I, that's something that I feel that excuse me, uh, streamers need to definitely do is uh, pick and choose where you're going to stream at. Stream in an area where it's like, okay, you ain't got to worry about no weirdos approaching you or somebody that you know, uh, like they look like they up to something. Yeah, it's like just pick and choose where you're going to stream at. You know, stream in like public areas, like maybe a park, um, maybe at the mall. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other places, but yeah, it's like areas where it's like, okay, like if I need to get help, like there's a, I, I, I you know, it ain't going to be that far away, but yeah, it's like at times people, they go into areas where it's like, you know, streaming ain't really a thing there. So yeah, somebody see you walking around, you holding a, a selfie stick and you streaming or however it is that you're doing it, but like maybe be secretive about it, but yeah, it's, it's just something where it's like, be careful of where you uh, stream because at times, you really you don't know who's watching or you don't know who's around the corner. So, but, nah, make sure if you guys haven't, though, go subscribe to Gossip Beans for more videos like this. And with that being said... One streamer got checked by a goon for filming in the wrong hood. And another one got guns pulled on him for being racist in front of the wrong people. Yeah, you can't do These that. These are 15 streamers who got checked by goons. Let's start with Ice Poseidon, who uh, got the scare of a lifetime. Oh, I he think was just I streaming this. inside an Italian restaurant in Hollywood. When a random guy approached him to deliver a very clear warning, he told him that he was a real gangster and part of the mob, and that he had received a bunch of calls about Ice Poseidon being there. The sooner he left the cafe, the better, or things would get ugly. Hi. I'm getting about 30 calls about you on my phone, and I'm, I'm a gangster, so you better leave here right now before there's trouble with yourself. You is that my thing? Even somebody has said that the first comment, there's like, nah, first dude was not mobbed. They don't go around saying, I'm a gangster. I throat punch him. I'm so fast. But like, that's something where if if I'm in that lifestyle, I'm not going to be going around telling people it. And then, yeah, also, I don't know if he knew that he was streaming right then and there. But yeah, that's something that I'm not going to do. I ain't going to be going around telling everybody, oh, I'm the mob. I'm a gangster. I'm this. I'm that. You know, I'm going to try to keep a low profile with it. If I guess if the, whoever the individual is that I approach, they start acting, you know, wild. Then I'll, you know, show them my, you know, my mob life or gangster life and things. But if not that, then it's like, yeah, bro, you. the thing is, is this. If you say that to intimidate a person, that mess can backfire on you. They call the cops. Cops is all like, oh, well, and let's say it's a situation where the cops is, you know, conducting an investigation with a mob that hangs out at that um, in that area. And now, you know, went down for some stuff that you didn't even do. So it's like, fam, it, my thing is this. If you're going to threaten somebody, at least be smart about it. You understand that? You're fucking with the mob over here. You better leave now. I, it. I apologize. You better leave now. What, what's going on? The sooner you leave, the better. Okay, it's like, I what will be I gone. Do? I will be gone. You're not gone yet. As soon as you go, you I, go I will be gone. It's like, all right, bro, back Thank up you very bit. much for your uh, business. I don't, I really don't want to fuck with the mob. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so there you go. All right, no more sitting ice resident sleeper then. Okay. As Ice Poseidon was leaving, he got. But I do um blame the fans, or I can't call them fans. I do blame the people that's watching Ice Poseidon stream that does that crap. It's just stupid because it's like he's just trying to like go out and just live a normal life, but it's like you got people out there that just constantly got to remind him like nope you're a content creator we gotta give you that content creator lifestyle i just find stuff like that stupid it's like yeah watch the stream enjoy whatever it is that he's doing or talking about but it's like when you're putting this man in the situation because yeah let's say if that guy was really a part of the mob or whatever and uh rather than telling him like he actually does something to ice poseidon it's like that blood's gonna be on your hands so it's just it's one of those things where if you don't like that content creator don't sit around and watch their stream. Like, I don't care what Ice Poseidon does or says. Yeah, that man could be doing and saying some of the most craziest stuff. I'm not going to sit around and watch his stream because I don't like him. I just find stuff like that stupid. But anyway. Scared because a guy on the way was staring at him too much. And he started to run, thinking the guy might be pulling a gun on him. Don't worry. I'll take Caroline on a date over there next time. <laughs> Actually... He's staring at me. Oh, oh God. He's fucking sti- Bro. Uh, this nigga is staring at me. He's probably got a gun or something. Oh, my wallet. Ooh, I dropped my wallet. 
Okay, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot, dude. Most of the time. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I guess I, you know, maybe it might be like a thing where he, he, he looks white, but I. And he, yeah, he might, he might have like a black parent, but if not that, then it's like, dang, he just he he was he was comfortable with that. I guess he's like, I you know I'm about to die. I I, I I might as well say it. I never did get a chance to say it, you know, growing up. So you like might as well just say it one time and then go to them pearly gates. But I'm like, bruh, I just I hey I I don't I don't know I don't know. But anyways, but even then, it's like I know people will be like, oh, and that doesn't upset you. That doesn't yeah, it doesn't upset me to that point where I need to oh let me watch his live stream and start you know uh um pranking him and things. It's like it's just it's pointless. All right, that's how I look at it. But anyways, people on the street don't like random streamers recording them for content. Canel Joseph learned this the hard way in San Diego. While he was filming clips, his cameraman focused on a massive goon on the other side of the street. The guy asked them if they were from the city, saying Canel had to check in with the locals before filming. Huh? Diego? From what? From San Diego? No, I'm from I'm from my mom's vagina. Nah, bro, when you get out here and you're in San Diego and you recording, bro, you gotta tap in, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, if you're not if you're not from here, bro, we don't just be letting people like walk around and just be recording, like you oh. gotta tap in, like. Who do I ask for permission? Like you can ask me, like where you from? Okay, let, hold on. Let me redo it. Let me redo it. Let me redo it. Let me redo yeah, it. it's like that's and that's the thing where I just there's a 50 50 chance of whether that guy he is a goon or he's not a goon. I ain't going to be playing with my life like that. So I just be like, yeah, I'm from Seattle. And it's like, oh, I, I, I didn't know, you know, and it's like and then just going about my business. Yeah, if he's harassing me, then it's like, OK, let's just hurry up, get the situation handled so I could go on about my business. But yeah, it's just it's something where I'm like, I don't know, like I feel that. It, it's I yeah, I hear that a lot though where it's like people do talk like that where it's like oh you gotta check in you gotta do this you gotta do that and I mean I don't know I don't think everybody's checking it. I'm like you know there's people out there probably be walking all up and down the streets taking pictures recording and all that stuff so it's it's just something where I'm like I guess if there's a problem like if they looking over at you and they you know eyeballing you and stuff then that's might be a you know a, a reason to question them but if not then they just minding their own business yeah bro it's, it's something it's something where i probably wouldn't even acknowledge the guy and i just kept on going about my business because i'm like fam i'm i i'm a i am a citizen i am a civilian i'm a pedestrian i i don't know who he thinks i am but i'm like fam i'm just out here chilling you know but anyways hey um i'm from florida like from florida? yeah 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 okay you you think I do you think I can film here? Yeah, I'm from Dago, so I'm I'm like one of the key holders. You know what I mean? I'll give you a little bit. What, what are you recording though? Like, what do you mean? Like what, what is your content about? Oh, like we're just trying to like basically like get people's information to be honest. Canel tried to joke about being a scammer, but the goon wasn't having it yeah. and quickly got more aggressive. He told them to turn off the camera, storming off when they didn't comply. So you're, Most, really, you're really a scammer, like you're really No, I can show you my stuff. Like I can show you some methods if you really want. So I don't give you permission. I, I, I don't give you permission oh, to tap shit. scamming. Like it can get ugly. Like it can get like you see how close I am to you? Like, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm a turn the I'm, camera off, bro. bro. Turn the camera off, bro. Yeah, what, what are you doing? Bro, turn the camera off. Bro. You know like nature. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Bro, turn the camera, bro. Wait, what, bro, what's what's happening? Camera, bro. Hey, bro, turn off the camera. Wait, wait, what's happening? Bro, turn off the camera. Wait, bro. wait, can I, I can give you money? I can pay you. Nah, you gotta tap in, bro. You out here doing some weird shit. Like, don't do that, bro. I don't want no Hold money, bro. Up. Here, I got a I dollar. Bro, I don't want no money, bro. Turn off oh. the camera, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. Stop speeding. Another IRL streamer had a scare while streaming in a dangerous neighborhood. He accidentally filmed what seemed like a transaction. And was told to turn off the camera and yeah, leave it's like immediately. That, my thing is, is this: I don't just be the times where I have recorded um, out in public, and it's it's super super rare. I think I'm trying to think. I think there's only three times where I recorded myself out in public. No, well, I guess like we including TikToks. Yeah, it probably it's been a few times, but it's like I can. I think I could. It's probably it's like probably it just only require like one and a half of my hands you know the amount of times i've like recorded myself out in public but other than that when i do record myself out in public i'm always like this and making sure the camera is just recording me i don't be trying to record other people i'm not all in people's face like that recording them it's pointless bro it's like it's somewhere i'm like nah bro you gotta you gotta have respect for other people when you recording but anyways Fortunately, he listened and got out of the area before things got worse. This place. That's not JBL. Oh, he's recording. Oh, not JBL, yes. Uh, Are you recording me? I'm not recording, oh, actually. I'm live streaming. Oh, I'm live streaming. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's called live streaming? No, 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 no I don't, I don't want it. Cut it off. Cut then it off. I'm going. Cut. 
Yes, it's cut off. I don't want to be... Speed didn't get a warning when he almost got beat up during an IRL stream at a mall. A group of guys in black hoodies who had been following him for a while tried to jump him live on stream. Speed thought they were there to rob him, so he told them to take whatever they wanted before the stream suddenly ended. Oh, That's the crazy. And they probably, you know what it was, and it's probably they were watching the stream. Might not even, I don't know. Maybe they might be a uh, um, gang. Well, I just, I don't know. They might be affiliated, might not be affiliated. Probably just watching the stream and just trolling them like, oh, let's go and scare um, I Show Speed. We're no, we know where he's at. But it, it's even then, it's like, it's just something where I'm like, I don't know. I guess with recording, Post that stuff once when you get home. But with streaming, yeah, it's like, I, I don't know. Maybe, like, stream the tail end of whatever it is that you're doing. So if you at a mall, stream yourself leaving that mall and then going somewhere so people don't know where you at. But, yeah, it's, you know, it's just something where I'm like, but I guess, like, in that position where you're on that level of, like, I show speed, it's something where it's, like, it's probably recommended that you, you know, you have security with you and stuff. But, I mean, you would think it would be, like, some mall security or cops, somebody there, they'll be there and stuff. But, yeah, it's, like, they might be all the way on the other side of the mall. And then it's, like, some stuff don't went down. But it's a dangerous game out there, man. Bro, bro. Hey, bro, chill, chill out, bro, chill out, bro, chill, bro, chill out, man. Chill, 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 There's no reason to do that. It's all like my thing is, is this you're doing that speed is like I, I don't know how old um speed is, but it's like I imagine he, he might have been a teenager at this time, might not have been. I don't know, but anyways, my thing is, is this you're out here picking on somebody and it's like for what? What, what? what do you overall gain from that? What do you gain from being a goon on the internet? Absolutely nothing. It's one of those things where it's like then when some stuff actually goes down and they, they be the main ones and like talk about, oh, I can't, I can't be in prison. Because that you doing stuff like this, this is where you heading towards. It's like, and it's something where it's like a speed when it's a press charge, it's called the cops. Then he done record your, um, recorded your face. So it's like, really, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? So come on now. Hey, hey, G, hey, G, I ain't gonna lie, you tripping right now, bro. Like, on some real shit. On some real shit, like, I'm on these countries and shit, bro. God, you ain't even going through none of that, like, oh, God. You tripping, like, don't, don't make me know. Get out of my truck, man. Okay, go ahead, yeah. yeah. My thing is, it's like, if that, whoever the cameraman is, it's like, yeah, let's say that's his security, and he's just, he, he's recording for speed's sake, but yeah, let's say, okay, he gets in security mode, he unpulled out a weapon, and it's like, I'd, maybe they might have a weapon, maybe they might not have a weapon, but it's like, you don't know that, you don't know who's there with, um, speed, so it's like, he could have somebody, like, kind of, like, not so much as walking with him, but walking around in the area, you know, just making sure, like, everything is all right, he see you guys, and now it's like, yeah, y'all is fighting for your life so it's something where it's like fam people go out there get a job work for your money stop robbing all right Come on, bro. Go ahead, nigga, take later speed hopped onto a live stream to explain that one of the guys was just a fan but the confrontation was still scary yeah neon stirred up controversy when he repeatedly did a disrespectful drill dance called the naughty bop on stream the dance was created to diss a 14 year old rapper who was stabbed in new york this led to Nadi's brother, Didi Osama, confronting Neon and demanding he stop disrespecting his late brother. Good. I, I want to. I want to. I want to sincerely apologize, yeah. bro. Yo, look. That's oh. all it was. That's yeah. all it is, bro. Nah. I ain't gonna front. Look. Yeah, no, I'm actually. You don't need to be bro, scared. All bro. I'm gonna tell you, babe, boy, is that. Watch out, watch out. Let them talk. Yo, babe, yeah. boy. Yeah. Don't, don't use your head. Bro, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. You, you not from the streets, babe, boy. Like mm -hmm. you, you was really like. You was really a nerd, babe, boy. You was oh. really a nerd, babe, boy. Oh. I'm trying to tell you, like, look, yeah, you look, look okay. at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. I'm not looking at Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to say nothing yeah. about you, but, like, you not from the streets, babe, boy. I'm trying to tell you, why you Big not listening? Sorry, my bad, my bad, I'm just nervous, Big bro. Man. I'm sorry. I want to. I want to. I know. You, I know what you're gonna say. And I want to sincerely apologize, bro. I didn't babe, realize I what I was to saying, bro. Apologize to, cause like you know my heart, like my mom be on the gram watching. I want to. I want to apologize to her too, bro. It's not. It was not right like, what I did, you gotta, bro. You gotta apologize to my mom, my fans, my. Every, it's not even about that. Even my heart. It's just about. It's a, you're not even in the streets to be even seen, my I, brother. Was, despite this, Neon kept doing the dance. One day, Osama and his crew found Neon and his manager. But that's yeah that's crazy i'm like that's something where it's like you then my thing is this don't know how that situation could have went down could have went down the way where it's all like you fighting for your life but yeah it's like i that's something where you know 
I, cause it, you hear that a lot where there's like, um, a phrase that's being said or just something that's being said or done in a, you know, it's like some sort of, uh, um, like rap song where it's disrespecting, you know, somebody that is no longer here with us. And so that's why it's like, you know, people, you got to be really careful with if you seeing something trending on TikTok, social media, wherever it's like, you got to do some research first. And I think I did because there's this uh, there's this um, rap channel that I be watching where it talks like on all that stuff. And I think I um, I did uh, like the um, whole situation with his brother. I think they did cover that on that channel. And yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, it's like nobody should have to lose their life to some like, you know, rap or street stuff. It's like, hey, he's it's it's one of those things where it's like that uh, his brother deserves to, you know, grow old. And it's like that's something where it's like you can still it's you see it's like getting to him and stuff. And then it's like then you afterwards, you still do the dance after he explains to you what the situation is. Yeah, that's like that's a level of disrespect where it's like, all right, if he see you next time and he swing on you, don't be surprised. But anyway, Neon managed to get away. Neon. Yeah, see. That could have been a, a few months later, they ran into each other again. And Didi made Neon apologize in person. Prime, Prime got checked during a big group stream organized by Aiden Ross. Prime picked up money that a rapper, Lil 100, had thrown on the floor during the stream. Hmm. Lil 100 didn't appreciate this and told Prime to put the money down. <laughs> Prime tried to play it cool, saying he was from Chicago, but Lil 100 wasn't interested in where he was from and warned him not to mess with his money. Things yeah, it's like that's that's the thing where it's like when money gets involved, I I think, and if it's a lot of money too, it's like yeah, where are you from, what you known for, any of that stuff, it, it it's gonna be one of those things where it's like it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> like my money <laughs> over anything else that comes first. All right, so. I mean, it, I don't know. It didn't really look like he took anything. It looked like he was joking around. I, you can't really tell. I guess you like you would have to be there in order to see if he did take anything. But um, I yeah, it's something where it's like, I mean, if he did, then it's like, bro, get the money back. It's like you're in a position where you don't need to be stealing money from people. But if he didn't, then it's like, I yeah, it's one of those things. Where I'm like, I'm empty. I'm like, fam, I ain't take nothing of yours. All right, so I don't know what you've seen, but my pockets is empty. So all right, all I got is my phone, my wallet. That's it. All right, so anyway, escalated and. And others had to step in to calm the situation down. Then Prime kept running his mouth, and a hundred had to check him again, letting him know that he wasn't playing. Prime then said that he was doing too much for only forty dollars, but a hundred told him that it wasn't because of how much money it was, but from the principal, because Prime went straight yeah. to pick up the money without knowing a hundred like that. Hey, yo, $40, hey, yo, I don't care about my money. Enough, don't even like I said, forty dollars. I got a pocket full of money. I'm in a roll. All right, bro. Stop me, bro. Is y'all twitching? Me, bro. Get back to twitching for somebody to get to twitch. Things just kept escalating between the two and everyone had to intervene because they knew 100 was being real about it. Oh, I'm like, easy. I, we both ain't. Because I, I, I don't know who no people think I am. Excuse me, Twitch world. My name is Lil One. Right? We yeah. here having hey, fun. We was twitching about some shit. Don't touch your pocket like you're taking some from me. Ain't nobody never took none from me in my life. Ain't nobody oh, touched my what it was. in my life. You but feel me? You got my money in your pocket. Hey, Sean, and you gave your hey, bro, you to to Johnny Somali, That's known crazy. for his toxic behavior. Yeah, it's like if I don't know the person, I'm not going to. I if they their money gets to fall in, I'm like I'm just gonna stand back and I'm like, hey, that's whoever else takes the money, that's on them. But I'm I'm stand. Yeah, it's like I don't. My thing is is this. If, even if it's on some stuff where it's like we all there and we all cool or i guess like we're cool with one person that is there so i guess yeah they all cool with Aiden. but um still though it's something where i'm like nah it's just i i 
cannot like be cool with a person and it's like i've only had like what said a couple of words with them you know it's like after a few interactions with each other on different occasions then i say like to an extent we're cool but it's like once we start hanging out and we cool then i probably would joke around on some stuff like that but uh, but I, I think if i see that they getting serious and they upset i'm like okay and maybe they went through some stuff and they pass i ain't even trying to cross that bridge right so i'm like if i did take the money i give it back if i didn't i'm like bro i ain't got nothing in my pockets all right so i don't know what you seen if you need my glasses take them but i ain't take no money all right so but anyways was confronted by a man at a mall for his offensive remarks about japanese people the man oh. whose wife was japanese took issue with johnny's comments and warned him not to make such jokes it's me yeah, yeah what's up i got a problem with you bro yeah yeah my, I'm wife a troll. Is, I'm a my, troll. my wife is Japanese. Okay. Yeah, but that it's that's the thing. People they and they think like somebody's supposed to understand that. Oh, I'm just trolling. I'm just playing around. I'm just joking. It's like, fam, there's just certain things that you just don't joke about. I I the amount of times I've tried explaining that to people and it just goes in one ear and out the other. It's like, fam. All right, then it's like one day you going um it's like you going to meet somebody that's I feel like they're going to one up that trolling and it's something that you ain't going to be wanting to deal with. So, yeah, it's something it's like people stop with the trolling. If there ain't no reason to be out there and it's and there isn't. There ain't under any circumstances there ain't no reason to be out there trolling and messing with people. So, it's yeah, it's like you get approached by somebody and it intimidating you, don't be surprised. But anyways, you go there insulting people like that. You know how many people died from Hiroshima joking about that? I know. I was, I was drunk. I was drunk. I know wow. family suffered, people suffered because of that. You on the train harassing people like that? I was drunk. Don't do it again, bro. I, I haven't done I, it I again since. I seen how people in Tokyo whoop. You lucky I don't do the same, bro. Is that a threat? It is, yeah. Because you go out harassing people like that, innocent people who didn't do anything. Japanese people are the most polite people. I was Japanese drunk, people are the most polite that. people I ever met in my life. Okay. And you on the like that for what, bro? For a little bit of clout? It's pathetic. Come on. Fortunately for Johnny, That's the confrontation true. ended on a positive note, with the man even asking for a picture afterward. Hey, it's in the land of smile, right? Come on, right. There we go. Don't do that. I'm right, serious. Yeah. Don't. Okay, no people more. Don't deserve that. That. People don't deserve that. The Island Boys also had a run-in at a gym when one of them, Kodiak Red, got into an argument with a local OG. Red hmm. talked trash, bragging about having more money and challenged the OG to take a swing. Do it! Yeah. I feel yeah. that What's it the dude swing. that? Hey, listen, I can sit. Listen, oh, oh, why would I swing at right. twenty? Right. Why well, I got more money than you? Hey. You, Yo, you got. Who are they right. talking to? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Just chill out. Chill out. Oh, uh -huh. right. Boy, I step on you. I'm upset. Just swing. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, swing, big guy. Oh, you want to be so hype? Swing. I was minding my own business. The situation nearly escalated into a fight before the island. If this is, uh, nah, that's like, it, that's something I'm like, don't, just because you got more money than the guy don't mean that it's like, that man, he, he would choke slam you out there. It's like, no, nah, that's something where I'm like, you can't, money ain't going to be able to speak for you, all right? So it's it's something where it's like on some like hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, you can't bring up money like that's supposed to put fear in the guy or something. But anyways. Boy's guard stepped in. I don't know why you're not talking. I'm not talking. Why are you pointing? Why are you pointing? Why are you pointing? Why are you pointing? Come on, man. Get your sweat, man. Yeah, you're the one that's doing it. You know your boy don't want no problem, bro. I want problems. What's up? You with his bodyguard? I want problems. What's up? You with his bodyguard? I want problems. What's up? Come on, bro. I'm trying. I'm Davis, a member of the AMP crew, was almost in serious trouble when two guys in LA confronted him for wearing blue in their turf. Are you what you mean? That's that's something where I'm like in California, where where like normal, just like all I don't even know if wearing all white, wear like something that's not like affiliated with like where i don't know because i'm trying to think i remember the last time i went to california oh yeah I, I was wearing a back to the future shirt i was wearing a back to the future um short and or shirt and then uh them uh i don't even know if y'all can see if you can see like these orange um jordans up here yeah i was wearing those and i was like and that that was my my not match but i'm saying it's one of those things where it's just not nah, bro i ain't gonna be don't wear red don't wear blue like if you gotta like look it up online like colors to wear and colors to not wear in california do that but 
don't be wearing blue don't be wearing red it's just to avoid any confrontations but i think they did say that this was a joke Luckily, just as things seemed to be getting serious, the guys revealed it was all a prank. Yeah. Davis was ready to run, but the situation de escalated quickly. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, 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 hey. He's so confused. He's all like, "What just one happened, man?" One streamer even got knocked out for calling another one. A B and two other streamers got into a full-blown fight after talking trash online. Wow. Check out this video to see more streamers who got checked by goons. Yeah, it's like you gotta be careful out there with uh, streaming, man. You know, you never really know. I guess like yeah, at the last one, if it's your friends playing a prank on you, yeah, it's just your friends. But yeah, man, it's like you know, you gotta be careful out there. It's like it's, you can't be out there messing with people or saying things that's gonna give people a reason to approach you on some crazy stuff. But yeah, you know, it's one of those things. Like it's uh yeah, just just be careful when doing them public streams. But anyways, make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to Gossip Beans for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.